Hi, Tom Ertl is second on here. I'm here with uh, Jeff Houston and Gary Southwell from CSPI. We're here to talk about a powerful new capability called surgical threat containment for IoT devices. Today we're going to talk about the uh, industrial system. So, so Jeff, why don't you talk about a little bit about the challenges in that environment? Sure. So today there's about 20 billion challenges. That's the number of IoT devices that Gartner says is out there. And you can imagine emerging technologies like 802.11ax, 5G, uh, things are going to get more connected before they get less connected. And more connections uh, equals more potential for breaches. Uh, Target, Chrysler, Stuxnet. I mean, those are all five years ago when those were already in the news. Imagine the paradigm that we're facing today. Automation is great, but automation comes at a cost. You know, uh, Doing that for an HVAC system, uh, industrial controls, uh, power, SCADA networks. Everybody's looking to take advantage of that. But when you have something like that, you have machine OSs that are not application friendly. So they can't take something like say an EDR client to protect them the way that other typical application based appliances would. So what are you to do You know, if you can't affect the performance or crash it, uh, you have to start relying on a different way. And that's where we look at surgical threat containment with Sekion and CSPI. Great, so Gary, if we put Sekion's AI sim and CSPI's area together, how do we attack this problem? Yeah, so CSBI and uh, Sekian spent a little bit of time thinking this through. As Jeff mentioned, um, there's a lot of devices out there. So there's really four aspects to the way the solution works. The first is, can we actually go in and monitor all these devices? Now, most of them, if you go back to industrial controls and automation, weren't really built with uh, the thought of actually having the capacity to run an EDR. Uh, so our approach is to sit one step back in the network uh, from these devices and then capture all the data, if you will, at a packet level as it flows through the network, actually examine it without in interrupting it, and then generate information like flow data, which then can be sent to the Sekian AI SIM. Uh, the Sekian AI SIM is really good at finding all kinds of threats using that type of data. Um, but when it needs additional information, it can actually talk back to our APIs and say to the CSPI ARIA solution, send us this particular source destination traffic flow. We want to see the entire conversation and we'll run it through our traffic analyzer for further analysis. So once you have that type of information, you can uh, verify a threat. And the nice thing about what we can work together through those same APIs, SecN has this ability to actually go in and contain threats. They can do so by talking to our API uh, at CSPI and we'll actually stop those conversations between those source destination pairs. So what's nice about that, it was Jeff was alluding to, is that we can stop the threat conversations but keep the mission production application running uh, without impacting that. Really, really critical. And the last thing that we can do is we can come in and provide an ability to enforce policy. So the nice thing about what Sakian's AI SIM does is it's taking our information and allows you to visualize and see what's talking to what. And then you can make a decision, should that be talking to that? And then once that decision is made, you can talk back down to us and then we will set a permanent policy that we enforce with ARIA to make sure that only those devices that we were told are allowed to communicate from now on. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that, again, these devices can't generate any logs. So imagine if I, have a SIM and my purpose is to gather information from everything, but that thing will not even generate a log, what are you gonna do? Well, we can take a lot of that net flow and metadata and now start to feed and cover the devices. And everyone will tell you, you know, segmentation and continuous threat monitoring is the way that you can take care of IoT. And that's what we think we've delivered. Right, so together these two products make a very powerful solution. Thanks. Thank you.